Hi everyone! I made this needle felt jigglypuff for my latest miniature dollhouse tutorial, and you can click the link here to watch that if you haven't seen it yet. Jigglypuff has always been one of my favorite Pokemon, and her simple design is perfect for DIY projects. To start with, you'll need some needle felting tools. If you're new to felting, then please watch these videos here, which I've linked below, where I explain everything in more detail. You can buy felting supplies from most craft stores or order them online and I've also linked the Etsy shop that I always use below. Then you'll need some white push pins and these are sold in almost any stationery shop in any country. And lastly you'll need some green or blue nail polish and some craft glue. You'll also need a tiny scrap of black wool and if you make a lot of felting kits then you should have some left over. To make Jigglypuff, take out a small piece of pink wool and start felting it into a ball. Then wrap it in more wool to build up the size. I find it's much better to work in layers like this than trying to felt a big ball of loose wool from the start. If you try working with too much loose wool at once, then you have a much higher chance of stabbing your fingers because you can't actually see what you're doing. So this is how the piece looks when you're halfway done. It has a nice round shape, but it's still far from finished because the surface is still very loose and fluffy. If you can easily pull off bits of wool like this, then you should continue working on it. When making a needle felt ball, be sure to keep turning it as you work so it gets felted evenly from all directions. Continue poking until the surface is completely smooth and the ball bounces back when you press on it. Now switch to a single needle to make the details. Of course, you can also make the whole piece using just one needle. The pink needle pen I use just makes the process a bit faster, but it's entirely optional. Now take some wool and start poking it into a triangle shape. Making these small details can be fiddly because it's hard to see a clear outline at the beginning. I find it helps to turn the piece back and forth a lot so the wool doesn't get stuck in the mat and focus particularly on the edges. Now add a bit of black inside and Jigglypuff's ears are done. Make the hands and feet using tiny pieces of wool and poking them until you have a little blob. Leave a small strand of loose wool on the side, which helps you hold the piece and it's also useful for attaching it to the body later on. Next, take the ball and cut out two slits where you want the ears to go. Place one ear into the opening and poke all around the edges until it's firmly attached. If you like the noise that this is making, then you should check out some of my other felting videos linked below, which are done in ASMR style without any voiceovers. So now just repeat with the other ear and then attach the hands and feet. If you feel they're a bit wobbly, then you can use tiny bits of loose wool to help join them up. Poking the wool fibers in the right direction sticks them together a lot more strongly than if you actually used glue. To make the eyes, I'm going to use these white thumbtacks. I like that they're perfectly round and shiny, so it creates a nice contrast to the wool. Of course, you can also make the eyes from white wool, felt fabric, or even clay. Find two pins that have a nice even surface. Press these into the felting mat and paint on pupils using nail polish and a toothpick. I'm using two colors of nail polish to give it some depth. If you make a mistake, then you can easily scrape off extra polish using a clean toothpick tip. When adding the darker color, I used a dotting method to create some shading. You want the upper part of the pupils to be darker than the lower part. Now leave the eyes to dry completely, which should only take a few minutes. Then decide where you want to position them and use a felting needle to poke two holes. Apply some glue and simply push the eyes into place. Make sure that the shine spot on both eyes are in exactly the same position. Lastly, make a small ball for Jigglypuff's hair. It should be a small curvy shape similar to one half of a yin yang sign. Then attach this into place using some loose wool.
take a very small wisp of black and use this to make the mouth. A common beginner mistake when felting is to use too much wool when making the facial features. So be sure to use the tiniest amount possible here. And now your Jigglypuff is done! I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you liked it then please subscribe to Cute Life Hacks and my other channel Macaroon to see new craft tutorials every week. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!